Hi friends, in this tutorial we will be integrating AOP with Spring Boot. For this I am going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So go to the Spring Spring Boot section. This is the example that we are going to see Spring Boot AOP example. I will be sharing this uh, URL along with the YouTube video. So what is AOP? During software development functions that span multiple points of an application are called as cross cutting concerns. So for example logging, security, these are all uh, span multiple points of an application, right? They are to be applied to different modules. So uh, these are cross cutting concerns. These cross cutting concerns they differ from applications main logic. Again logging and security, securing your endpoints uh, and other classes is not the uh, main reason why you are writing the application but they are needed for an application hence uh, these separate hence separating these uh, cross cutting concerns from the business logic is where aop comes into the picture so uh, using aop what we do is that whatever are these uh, cross cutting concerns or this uh, common functionality we put it at uh, one place so these cross cutting concerns can now be modularized into special classes and these are called as aspects uh, there are two benefits of this first the logic of all this has been put in one place and the second is that our business uh, modules are now cleaner and uh, they don't need to have anything that is not related to business. Aspects have a responsibility they are meant to discharge. This responsibility of an aspect is called an advice. So for example a logging statements uh, will be an advice or applying uh, security will be an advice. An aspects functionality is woven into a program's execution at one or more join points. So there will be one or more join points uh, to which this advice will be applied but suppose we don't want to apply the advice to all the join points so we can provide some more information and the advice will be uh, applied only to certain uh, join points or methods and so this is known as the point cut so for example in employee service will be having two uh, methods create employee and delete employee these both will be the join points but we will define the aspect in such a way that uh, the aspect it will be applied only to the create employee and not to the delete employee. So uh, this will be the point cut that uh, we will specify. So if we will go in the configuration class. So here. So here we have specified that uh, the, uh, this advice it should be applied to all the methods of the employee service. But additionally we have also specified that only the methods that are having arguments as name and employee ID only uh, to them this advice should be applied so this is the join points and this will be the point cut so we are applying advice to specific point cuts here if we were not specifying this then this would have got applied to all the methods so let's uh, begin the implementation part so this is the maven structure that we are going to create in eclipse so go to eclipse and create a new maven project next we'll be adding the dependencies here so the dependency that will be adding will be the spring boot starter AOP so this will fetch, fetch us all the uh, dependencies that are required for uh, starting with AOP Next, we'll create the model class employee. Next, we'll be creating the controller. So here we are exposing two endpoints. One is for adding the employees, and other is for removing the employees.
so the uh, controller uh, whatever information it fetches it then calls the employee service with that information the employee service is where uh, we are uh, we have the functionality for creating the employees or deleting the employees here for create employee we are just creating a dummy employee and returning it similarly for delete employees uh, we have not written any logic the main aim of this tutorial is uh, seeing how aspects are used with uh, spring boot so we'll be uh, applying aspects uh, to these methods or join points so we don't uh, require the functionality right now so let's create this class employee service Next, we'll creating the aspect class, aspect configuration class that defines the join points and the point cards. So here we have this uh, employee service aspect class. Here we have uh, applied two types of advices. One is before advice and one is after advice. Actually, we have these many types of advices that I've mentioned here: before, after, after returning, after throwing, and around. So currently, we'll just see before and after. So here, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this will be the join point and this will be the point cut. So uh, we have specified that only methods which have two arguments, name and employee ID, only to that this advice, which is the logging of the statements, uh, should be applied. So in our case, only this create employee, which is having two uh, such uh, uh, variables that we have uh, defined here. So only advice will be applied only to this method and not to this method. So let's create this aspect configuration class. Uh, finally, we'll be creating the Spring Boot Hello World application, which will be a Bootstrap class. Here, we are using the annotation Spring Boot application, and also uh, for enabling uh, AOP, we are using the Enable Aspect J Auto Proxy uh, annotation. So uh, we are done with all the changes. Uh, let's uh, run this application. So our application it has started successfully. So now let's test if the aspect uh, advice it is getting applied correctly. So according to this uh, aspect service uh, employee service aspect class, the aspect it should get applied only to the create employee method and not to the delete employee method so first let's uh, call the delete method and we'll see that uh, no advice is getting applied and uh, so there will be no sysout statements here and then we'll uh, call the create employee method and uh, we'll see that uh, the sysouts uh, they are getting printed here correctly so first let's uh, hit this method that is remove employee So here it is showing that employee removed and if we go to the console we can see that uh, there are no sysout statements here so the uh, aspect advice it has not been applied to this uh, method next we'll and I'll give the name so here we can see that uh, uh, we are getting the response correctly and also if we go here we can see that the aspect it is getting applied correctly one is the before method advice and the other is the after method advice both are getting uh, applied correctly so our application it is working properly 
the source code for this application it can be downloaded from here uh, hope you have understood this tutorial thank you